welcome back today I am going to show you how to make this beautiful shawl I made a mini one um, so I can um, use this as a sample demonstration for this tutorial um, in this tutorial you will be doing uh, chain stitches triple crochet single crochet and pretty much that's it uh, this this shawl uh, we will start from here and then the growing of this shawl is on these two sides that's how the shawl um, start growing bigger and bigger also at the end here I per let's pretend that you've done with the with the shawl at the length that you want this is the edging um, stitches that I made for this one it's very simple and it's very easy. If you know how to make these, then you should know how to do this. But I am going to walk you through it. I also make another shawl that's in two different colors. And I will be doing a tutorial on a next video. But I want to give you a sneak peek of this one. It's two different colors. You see? Um, every time I change the color, I don't cut the yarn simply because the I change the color from here and go here and then go over here go around the shawl like this and I personally love blue and pink so that's why I um, I picked these two color but I would have a tutorial on how to change the color on the next video if you're interested in this one um, I highly suggest you to subscribe to my channel. I should be able to upload the video in the next few days. So let's begin making this shawl in solid color. Okay, to begin, I am using uh, this hook size right here. 1.4 millimeter. And it's very tiny, as you can see. And I am using this very fine crochet thread for this tutorial and it is also the same as this one to begin you are going to to begin you are going to make a knot like this and put your hook in okay um, you are going to do a chain seven, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, so we are working on this part right here. Chain seven. After that, you are going to do a slip stitch. The tail is kind of long. <laughs> okay, after the slip stitch, you are going to do chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. After the chain seven, you are going to do a treble crochet. A treble crochet is mean you do a yarn over three times. One, two, three. Okay. Pull it in. Pull it two at a time. Oopsie. Okay. And you're going to do a uh, treble crochet the total um, in this loop right here will be 10 so this is this count as one treble crochet change one and a treble crochet so pretty much you're doing the same thing change one treble crochet yarn over three times I'm gonna do this Change one, treble crochet. 
change one. Now you're going to do this ten. Uh, you're gonna have ten in this in this um, loop right here, like this one. Okay, total of ten. Okay, I'm going to meet you at the end, and then I'm gonna walk you to the next round. Okay. Okay, welcome back. So it looked like you have a total of ten. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you have ten already. What you're going to do is you are going to change seven up. Seven change up. Okay. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. After that, you turn this over. After you turn over, you're going back to this same spot right here. And you do a single crochet. So basically, you are creating a loop. For this, you are creating a loop right here. Okay, after that you are going to make these, um, how do you call this, little teardrops, I guess. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. We are doing the total of one, two, three, four. Okay, so you have a loop and then you have four teardrops. How do we make that? After you do a single crochet, you do a change five. Okay, one, two three four five okay after that you're going to do a single crochet right here right here single crochet okay and then you want to secure this to the next to the next pose single crochet again So you have one teardrop already. You need four, okay? So change five up to one, two, three, four, five. Single crochet right here. Okay. Secure this by a single crochet at the next pose. So you have two already. Yeah, wonderful. Change by one, two, three, four, five. Single crochet in here. Secure it at the next pose. Three teardrops. One, two, three. Oopsie. Three, four, five. Single crochet, secure it at the next pose. Now you have four, total of four, right? One, two, three, four. You're going to make a middle loop, middle loop. Okay, sorry, the tail was really annoying so I had to weave it in offline. So anyway, after you have four little teardrops, you're going to do another loop in the middle. So you're going to change seven again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then you go to the, this pose right here, you do a single crochet to make a loop. Okay, after that you're going to do four teardrops on this size. One, two, three, four, five. Close, close it with a single crochet and then single crochet right here to secure it. Change five, one, two, three, four, five. Close it. Single crochet the next pose. 
right here. Uh, change five, one, two, three, four, five. Single crochet right here to close it. Then go to this next one. Secure it. So we have three already, right? Remember this one, there's a, there's a change right here. That's a change one. Uh, it's, it's, okay, so change five. One, two, three, four, five. Close it. You're going to do a single crochet and skip one change and go to the next one on this one, okay? You do a single crochet right here, okay? After that, you're going to make a loop just like on this side. You're going to make a loop just like on this side, but you what you're going to do is you're doing change four. One, two, three, four. After the change four, you're going to do a double crochet back to the same place right here. And you're going to double crochet it. The reason you double crochet right here because you want your yarn and your hook to be on the top. Okay. Then now you're going to turn your work over. You're going to do a chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're doing a treble crochet. A total is five treble crochet in here. So this is one treble crochet and change one. Consider one, two, three. Treble crochet, the second treble crochet. Yarn over. And then pull two at a time. See, change one. We are um, working on this part right here. That's equivalent to this one right here. Okay, so you notice this five treble crochet one, two, three, four, five. See that right here? That's what we're doing. So we have two already. Change. Uh, I changed one already. One, three. Okay, change one. Oh, sorry. Change one. We have four already. Third one. Sorry, the fifth one. So we have the total of five treble crochet. After the five treble crochet, you are going to do a change three to like a bridge from here to here. So I show you what I mean. So change three. One two, three. Let me pull my yarn out. Okay, after that, you're going to do 10 treble crochet in here. Okay, so after the ch chain three, yarn over, you're going to do 10 treble crochet in here. One, Change one, change one. Okay, uh, we are supposed to do 10 treble crochet in here. So I'm going to meet you when you have 10 treble crochet and then I will walk you to the next step, okay? Okay, welcome back. So you have 10 treble crochet here already. Right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 10 treble crochet in here already. 
what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a change three just like right here so remember this is this is very symmetrical one two three after that you are going to do five treble crochet in here okay like just like on this side yarn over do five treble crochet don't worry about this it feel awkward at first but it's it is the nature of the shawl okay so do five treble crochet with the change one of course split yarn I hate it um at the fifth one, I'm going to show you how to um, end it right here, okay? Three. Four. The fifth one. Uh, at, let me see. Change one. The fifth one is... The fifth one, you are going to, instead of put it in here, you're going to put your hook on the third change up, okay? One, two, three. Like right here. Let me see. One, two, three. Like right here. Okay. Oh, I don't like split yarn. Okay, see that? See? The reason you want to um, put your fifth treble crochet in here so that way it is a um, symmetrical to this side right here because it start at the second uh, or the third uh, stitches. Now, this is what you have so far. Okay. Again, every time you pause here, you need a loop, a loop, and then a loop. Okay, so we're going to make ourselves another loop. Chain 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Turn your work over, single crochet in here, and then we are creating that fun little teardrops. So, one, two, three, four, five. Single crochet in here. Single crochet in here to secure the teardrop. And then another single crochet right here to secure that. Change five again. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet in here to close it. Okay, go to the next pose. Single crochet here to close it, to secure it. Again, we need a total of four teardrop. Okay, so you have two already. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet. And then go to the next one, single crochet to secure it. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet to close it. Single crochet here to secure it. Okay, now you see this right here? You are going to do another change three, just like this one. One, two, three. Single crochet to the next one. Okay. Now we have, we have this big um, 
fan right here. You need four teardrop again. One, two, three, four, five. Close it. Secure it. One, two, three, four, five. Close it. Secure it. I can't find it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Close it. Secure it. How many do we have? Three already? We need one more. One, two, three, four, five. Close it. Secure it. So, hey, we have four teardrop. One, two, three, four. After you secure it, right here, you're going to make yourself another loop with chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go to the next pose and do a single crochet. Single crochet. Okay. And your obligation right here is to do four more teardrop. One, two, three, four, five. Secure it. One, two, three, four, Five. I hope I don't block you anything because I didn't really look at the screen. Close it. Secure. Secure it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Close it. Then secure it. How many do we have? Three already, right? We need one more teardrop. One, two, three, four, five. Sorry, my yarn is very tangled. Ah, okay. Close it. Okay, secure it. Okay, remember this one right here? You do three change. One, two, three. Okay, do a single crochet. One, two, three, four, five. Close it. Secure it. One, two, three, four, five. Close it. Secure it. Every time you close it, you secure it, you do a single crochet. I just didn't say it, but I think that at this point, you pretty much know what I'm talking about. Um, so you have two, t two teardrops already. One, two three, four, five. Close it. Secure it. This is the tricky part right here. So if you are new to this, just follow me. So you have three teardrops already, right? One, two, three, four, five. Close it. Secure it. Where do we secure it? We skip one. You go here. And you're going to secure it right here. After you secure it, you need to do it symmetrical on this side. Meaning that you are going to do a, uh, let me see, a change four and then a double crochet. That's equivalent to a change seven. Like this one. Okay, but you want your hook to be on the top. 
Um, so follow me. I don't want you to confuse. One, two, three, four. Double crochet back in that same hole right there. See? Double crochet. See? Your goal is to have the hook on this top. See that? Turn your work over. That's beautiful, isn't it? Very, very pretty. So pretty much you are doing at this point right here. Uh, let me do several more steps for you. So right here, this loop right here, you need to do five treble crochet in here. That's equivalent to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go in here, turn your work over. And you do um, treble crochet in here. This shell is very repeat. It's so much fun doing it actually. You see right here? You're doing this part right here. You're doing the same thing as you're doing right here. And you're just repeating it. Um, but I want you to follow me to this step right here because I didn't we didn't work um, at this part right part yet so two and single crochet so we have two already four Change Okay, five treble crochet change three one two three Okay, and you are going to do five treble crochet on this one right here, so follow me See that? Pretty much you're just doing five treble crochet here, change three, ten treble crochet here, change three, five treble crochet in here, change three, five treble crochet here. Okay. I am going to meet you at the end here okay so we are at the end right now and uh, again I have three oh I have three uh, here and we need a total of five so let's let's work on it together and then um, I can maybe give you um, some feedback um, after this change one remember this loop right here uh, we don't go uh, straight in here but you want to go on the third chain so one two three right here so you want to go in here for the fifth one for the fifth one okay so this is what Oh, I hate split the yard. Okay, so this is what you have so far. So your shawl is going to keep growing and growing, and uh, keep growing and growing. And when you are at the the length that you want to stop, uh, instead of making a, uh, let me show you the sample. When you have the length that you want, instead of making the loop to grow your your shawl, instead of making the loop, you make a teardrop. So you notice right here, we always have four teardrop. Here, uh, we also have four teardrop as well. But you 
uh, you start you start with a teardrop 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 and then change three teardrop so this is considered the edging at the end because you don't want to at the end you don't want see to see the loop here and you don't want to see the loop here and you want you don't want the loop here then it looks very incomplete so you always um, close the loop by replacing with the uh, with the teardrop instead then that will conclude your shawl at the the length that you want because we all have different size and different height and different preferences that you want to stop where you want to stop at certain length um, that you want to stop you can also use this as a scarf like a triangle scarf around your neck like this maybe like a tassel right here that would be beautiful um, so this is how you start a, um, a dowry crochet shawl uh, if you if you um, somehow stuck just go ahead and rewind back because all the steps are uh, um, they're repeated there's nothing new nothing uh, different if but if you want to learn how to um, do a shawl in two different colors like this one that I show you earlier without cutting the yarn just go ahead and subscribe to my channel and I will show you um, I will upload a tutorial in the next few days to show you how to do this one. I personally like this one. Um, so thank you for watching. If you like my tutorial and you want to work on projects with me, I upload videos weekly, at least weekly. Um, so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.